Hey there, welcome back to another Slightly Rednecked video. Again, my name's Chris, and if you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. And today we're going to be working on making some rabbit sausage. And actually it's a mixture of rabbit and quail. I've got about half rabbit, half quail on this tray right here. And what I've done is I've cut it up into little pieces, deboned it of course, so it's just the rabbit meat, just the quail meat. Like I said, it's about half and half. You could do this with all rabbit, all quail, however you wanted to do it. Uh, and then I've got some pork fat I picked up at the butcher, and I've got that all cut up into little pieces on that tray there. And what I've done, I've stuck these in the freezer and got them frozen. So they're pretty frozen, just starting to thaw out. And that's the way you really want to work with uh, when you're making sausage. So let me get my stuff all set up. I've also taken, you know, I've got a meat grinder here. You could do this in a food processor if you wanted to, but I've got a meat grinder, so I'm going to be using a meat grinder. And I've taken the attachments, cleaned them up real good, stuck them in the freezer to get them real good and cold. When you're making sausage, you want it to be good and cold. You want to work fairly quick and you want to uh, you know, get through this stuff pretty quickly so that, uh, that you know, the fat doesn't melt and, and all those things. And it's a lot easier to grind the meat up if it's just almost frozen. So you know, this stuff's been in the freezer for 45 minutes or something like that. And it's pretty, pretty good and frozen, pretty hard. Um, but I need to get going so it doesn't uh, thaw out and melt. So let me get things set up here and then we'll go through what I'm going to be working with here. All right, so again, when we're working with making sausage, you need some fat content in your sausage. Quail and rabbit is very, very lean. There's hardly any fat on there. So you're going to need to add some fat to that. Now what I've chosen to go with is pork, so pork fat. You could go with any kind of fat that you wanted to. It doesn't really matter. You could even use like olive oil or something like that in there if you want. But I think pork fat makes sense to use for... Uh, sausage. So what I'm going to be doing is just kind of uh, take this meat here and again it's pretty frozen. I'm going to put it in here, measure it out. I've got a kitchen scale underneath here. Measure out how much I've got and then I'm just going to add fat till I get up to a ratio of about 30 percent. You really want somewhere between 25 to 30 percent for the ideal uh, fat ratio uh, in your sausage. So let's see, let me get this pan out of my way so I don't need it anymore. Okay, we're right at two pounds. So, see if my math is correct, that's gonna be about, I'm gonna put three quarters of a pound in here. And uh, that should give me roughly 27%. I think we have to do the math, somewhere around 27% fat. Okay, we're getting close. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right, let me get this pan out of the way. We'll bring you in close. Okay, so I've got my, my meat and my fat here. Just kind of stir that around, make it get a little bit evenly distributed. And like I said, I want to work pretty quickly here. I don't want to uh, let this stuff thaw out too much. Now, I've got a spice mixture here. That is, it's a mixture of different things. Um, I'll, I'll put a recipe down below. The recipe that I have down below is for one pound of meat. So you just scale it up or scale it down. I've got two and three quarters of a pound of meat. The most important thing is your salt content. And from there you can just adjust the other things. Uh, but this has got cayenne pepper. This has got rosemary, thyme, about five cloves of garlic that are minced up. Uh, let's see, it was two and two and three quarters teaspoon of salt. And then from there, like I said, you can scale the rest of the ingredients up and down if you want. I'm using about four tablespoons of pap of uh, excuse me, four tablespoons of chili powder, uh, four tablespoons of paprika. I think it's two tablespoons of um, cayenne pepper, I believe. Actually, I'm using a, a pepper mix from uh, peppers that I grew in the garden. It's a mixture of jalapenos and um, habaneros. Um, it's got some uh, oregano and some thyme. Like I said, look down below. Take a look at the uh, the ingredients list down below. Scale it up for however much meat you have. That's for one pound of meat. And uh, I've just scaled it up a little bit. Again, the most important thing is the salt content. Make sure you keep that fairly consistent, but the rest of the stuff you can, uh, you can kind of play with. All right, so I've got that kind of mixed in and coated pretty well. Let's move over and uh, start grinding some meat. All right, so I'll plug this thing in. 
Make sure everything's working. We are. And then there's not much to it other than just making a lot of noise. Just put the meat in, mixture of meat and uh, fat. And I'm grinding it through a fine plate. But again, you could do this in a food processor if you wanted to. There we go. Okay, we're pretty much done here though. I'm gonna go ahead, transfer this to, back to my starting bowl. Oh, now it drops. And we're gonna run it through one more time, just to make sure it's all good mixed up. So that's two grinds. We should be good here. Let me get some things taken apart here. A little bit of cleanup work to do. Quite a bit of cleanup work to do. Sausage making is dirty business. All right, and I've got some chunks of fat and skin and stuff right here at the top that just, you know, just doesn't go through, so it's not good to put back in there, but the rest of the stuff's fine. All right, so give this a good mix with your hands. And then, next thing we need to do is to, we need to sample this, so let's make us a patty here get it cooked up and see how it tastes. All right, get that cooking. Always want to uh, sample your sausage before you put it away, before you, you know, call it quits and just make sure that the spicing, the, you know, the, all that tastes pretty good. So we're gonna cook this up here real quick. We're gonna taste it and see if it tastes good. And if it does, then we'll move on to the next step. All right, let's see, I think it's done. Pretty sure it's done. All right, so that's done. So uh, we're gonna give it a taste test here and see how it tastes. It uh, smells fantastic. Yeah, that's pretty good. Mm. 
Yeah, I think that's going to work. I was a little worried it might be a little bit overly spicy, but it's not bad at all. Not too spicy anyway. I like a lot of spice, but that's not even that spicy at all. So I think I could probably add more spice to it if I wanted to, but I think this is going to work. So the next thing I'm going to do is transfer all this into a smaller bowl, one that's a little bit easier to fit in the fridge. Cover it up. I'm going to stick it in the refrigerator. Let it sit for overnight, probably 24 hours, something like that. And then I'll roll it into some smaller packages, a little bit more manageable packages, and stick it in the freezer. But you want to give it that time to sit in the refrigerator and let the spices and the flavors all kind of mingle together a little bit and uh, saturate uh, the sausage before you stick it in the freezer. So anyway, let me get that done. Not much to watch on that part. I'm just going to transfer it into a bowl, stick it in the freezer or fridge. And then 24, 48 hours, something like that, I'll roll it into probably one pound packages and some uh, wax paper, butcher paper, something like that, and uh, stick it in the freezer. And it'll keep for, you know, easily a year. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you are looking for a meat grinder, this has been a pretty decent little meat grinder for a home use. I mean, it's not commercial size at all, but it works pretty well. I'll leave a link to that. Um, well, actually what I'll do is I'll stick it in my Amazon shop. So you can get to it in the Amazon shop down below. And uh, makes a great Christmas gift for those, anybody in your Christmas list that likes to do these kinds of things. Uh, this meat grinder has done a pretty good job. It does come with sausage attachments, so you could use, um, you could stuff this stuff into casings with this if you wanted to. I'm going to use it more like a breakfast sausage myself. So anyway, again, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. As always, God bless.